Uh, my name is Jonathan Moore. I'm the founder and chief getter done at Rowdy Orbit. I honestly believe stereotypes are a bunch of crap. Let me give you some perspective on my educated hypothesis. Mammy stereotypes on TV. Here's my starting point, the local news. <laughs> it's not like it's a fr it's freaking mystery what's about to happen next, so I pray. I'm like, please say something smart. Please, please don't, don't shout out anyone. Please don't have a cigarette in your hand. And 30 seconds in an interview, it's like a all oh, damn moment. Someone please tell me this. Does traditional media have some type of staples easy button where you can turn on a camera, push a button, and what jumps out? Your, uh, your official prepackaged customizable cultural buffoon. It's really annoying. It's, it's, it's really a parasitic brain freeze. And this isn't a presidential debate, so it's all coming out. But understand, the infectious media buffoonery has gone completely mainstream, and there's evidence. This infectious man-tanning buffoonery is like net zero trying to compete with Google in real time. These individuals try to crown themselves as cultural icons. In my world, in my world, it's me using a testicular meat grinder while listening to a six foot five drag queen discuss the fine importance of the unshaven tuck. It sounds so painful, it's so wrong in so many levels, it comes out of nowhere, just like this one cultural icon becoming a cult, becoming an icon. I get confused. So I just wanted to share some data points with you. I know you, everyone likes data points. You'll notice an upward trend, month over month analysis based on media stereotypes. As you can see, it's headed right into a higher altitude of suckage fear. <laughs> I get really frustrated because as I grow up and as I get older, I see icons like Jeffrey Canada, who's completely changing Harlem. I see Faraji Shade, who's a journalist, a professor, has her own uh, NPR show who's doing some amazing things. There's Robert Townsend, who's an indie film director, writer, producer, who's basically putting black Hollywood on his back. There's Sidney Poitier. He's the first black person to win an Academy Award for Best Actor. And then when you add Maya Angelou, Debbie Allen, Lee Daniels, Alan Parson, Samuel Jackson, the band in Living Color, another band, Fishbone, Charlie Pride, Ruby D. Izzy Davis, Spike Lee, Oprah Winfrey, Soliday O'Brien, DJ Coherc. And I think, so how in the hell can you begin to classify, remotely equate, or paint a vivid, despicable picture about people of color as media coons? Hey, I'm not your stereotype. Listen, I can go on and on and on, but the people that I mentioned above and a, a thousand others have made significant significant cultural contributions, collectively moving the cut line of people forward, way, way forward. Listen, I'm not your stereotype traditional media. I'm a free thinker, I'm the evolution, and now I'm putting you on notice. As the media continues to paint these, these fracking images and perceptions, I will always be sure to let everyone know the reality. I'm not your coon.